Hi beauties and welcome to another, well, empties video. So, if you want to know what is what came out of my bag, because this one's empty, <laughs> you just, well, have to keep on watching. Okay then, I have well, quite a lot of empties. I have a lot of dupl duplicates as well, so I uh, got rid of those. I have skincare and I have some makeup related. And I have quite a lot, so I'll go through it quite fast. And if you have any questions on a specific product, just ask me in the comment section and I will happily answer you. Let's start well with skincare and let's start with well, what I put on my face first. And that is a toner, hydrating toner. I have two empties here. This one is from Decubal. It's their tonic. It's perfume free. It doesn't have any soapy stuff. It doesn't have any alcohol. I use this for quite a long time and I like it. I get mine at Holland and Barrett in the Netherlands and I pay about 10 euros for uh, 200 mils. But I use quite a lot of it. So I went looking for an alternative, which I found. And that's this one from Neutral. And it's a skin tonic and it's just a hydrating. It just contains, well, water and hydrating properties. The only negative thing is this pushy thingy. So what I do is I twist it open. I pour it over into a spray bottle and then uh, I use it to spray my face. This is an empty one and I think I have currently six bags backup of these because this packaging is going out. Uh, they are re repackaging it. So uh, every time I see one of these on sale for a, a euro 90 cents or something like that, I grab two or three because I freaking love this stuff. And because I'm cheap as kind of, I would rather pay two euros than eight. So yeah, so this is what I use and I really, really like it. And again, I have six backups. Um, next, let's go to my serums and <laughs> may not surprise you, they are all from the ordinary. Yes, I have been saving them. Anyway, let's start with this one, which is the lactic acid 5%. I kind of put a different thingy, uh, a lid on it so I could put it on a cotton pad, but it doesn't really work like that. Uh, I have currently the 10% downstairs and how I use it now is I kind of drop it on my face and then spread it in quickly. I like this especially for dry skin because you exfoliate on a very gentle way but lactic acid also attracts moisture. So that's a win-win for me. So that's the lactic acid and again I have repurchased in the 10% because it was on sale at the Black Friday sale. Uh, what do I have here? This is, well, kind of the same. This one is Matrixel and this one is Buffet. The Buffet is the Ordinary's only real, well, combined serum. Uh, you know that, that you have more than one product in here. And this contains peptides, amino acids, uh, hyaluronic acid and such. I really like the Buffet. This is obviously empty. And I have currently two backups or two downstairs that are still full because I'm using something else up and then I will use those. I really like that serum. I also want to try the Matrixel, which is kind of like the Buffet, but it focuses more on the peptides than a combination of those. I liked it. Um, I like the Buffet more. I'm currently, oh, you know, this is the, this is the empty one. I do have a multi-peptide serum from Revolution that I'm using now, but to be honest, I like the ordinary better, but I want to use that one up before I flip back to the ordinary one. So yeah, Matrixel and Buffet. Yes. And again, if you want to know more, just ask. I will, what I can link. I cannot find links for these two, yeah, only in the Netherlands probably, but the ordinary I can link in on those. Uh, when you click on the link, you go to the site from the ordinary and it has all the information of the product uh, that is on there. And no, I'm not affiliated. I'm not sponsored, not anything. I just freaking like the ordinary. This is the niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%. I freaking love this stuff. Niacinamide is a B vitamin. It's also an antioxidant. And my skin really, really likes it um, because of the zinc. It is uh, anti-inflammatory 
and it helps to regulate your sebum production. So this is not only good for oily skin, it's actually good for any skin type, especially older skin type, because it can also help with wrinkles. So yeah, and yeah, um, unless I say otherwise, I have backups or I'm still using that. So the niacinamide I'm still using, and I uh, just opened up a new bottle downstairs. This one, the Alpha Arbutin 2% plus HA, this one is empty and I'm not going to repurchase. The Alpha Arbutin really helped in summer with my hyperpigmentation that I got from the sun. It really helped, but I find that now that I'm using a tretinoin cream, I don't need this anymore. So I finished the bottle and uh, as of now, I'm not going to repurchase. Maybe in summertime when the hyperpigmentation acts up again, I'm not sure, but for now it's empty and again, I haven't repurchased. Uh, let's go to this one, which is the 100% plant derived squalane oil. I love this oil, uh, especially in winter time and uh, how I use it in summer when it was almost empty. I used it underneath my eyes as an eye oil cream slash thingy or on my lips. I currently have the Demi Squalane, which is a new one, which is a little less oily feeling and sinks in faster. I like that one as well, but uh, I well only started using it about two days ago. I think in winter time I pre actually prefer the normal Squalane, but we shall see, we shall see. And yeah, again, I really like this oil. I think it's a nice oil. Uh, especially for dry skin. This one is also empty and it's the blood mask. Well, I have a tiny bit left in it, a tiny bit. I have a new bottle downstairs that I used. I used to love this until I started tretinoin. Um, I haven't used it in quite a while because the last time that I used this, I left it on my skin for only three minutes and it really started burning, so I rubbed it, I, I washed it off and I got peeling here. I didn't get peeling from the tretinoin. I didn't get peeling when I used this before I started tretinoin, but the combination uh, my skin does not like. So uh, yeah, currently it is downstairs and uh, I have well not used it for a few weeks because it is just too much for my skin in combination with the tretinoin cream. And that is why I have actually uh, purchased the lactic acid 10%. So I do have an AHA in my routine, but unfortunately the blood mask is a little bit too much. And um, I have two more skincare items and they're both uh, from K Beauty or Korean skincare. This one is the Chok Chok Green Tea Watery Cream from Tony Moly. And it is, it still smells a bit. It really smells like green tea. I love this in summertime because it was kind of a lightweight moisturizer with a good ingredients, all uh, antioxidants that are in green tea. And I really liked this. I do have to say, because this does contain a little bit of silicon, I have to be careful not to slather it all over my face. Otherwise my sunscreen slides off and my makeup won't stick. So yeah, but it is a very, very nice cream. Currently I have other creams now. I do have the Essence from this line. I like that. I don't know if it really helps um, pull it in my skincare that I put on top of it, but I'm actually using it specifically because of the green tea. So yeah, I got uh, these two on YesStyle, by the way. This <coughs> is uh, from Etude House. It's their Sun Prize mild watery light sunscreen SPF 50 plus and three pluses PA and the PA is for the UVA protection. This is a very nice sunscreen for me in summer because it's light. It has nice ingredients for your skin as well. I do have to say that uh, now that I am using richer moisturizers and a little bit more oils because my skin tend to get dehydrated this time of year, dehydrated this time of year. Uh, when I use this, it pills. So that's really annoying. It didn't do that in summer. So I have a backup downstairs that I'm leaving closed and sealed up tight for summertime. Because yeah, again, if I put the amount that I need on my face now, on top of the oils that I use, 
And it peels on me when I put on my foundation. So I don't really like that. But I do want to wear sunscreen. So yeah, I'm using different sunscreens now. But I really, really liked this one in summer. So yeah. Um, that was the skincare part. Next, let's go to, uh, well, makeup related stuff. I have three sprays here. Let's start with those. I have the Catrice Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray, the purple one. I have repurchased it over and over again. I pulled three empties out of that bag. I really like this one. I just wish they made bigger bottles. This is for me, it's not um, as good as the Mac Fix Plus, but it's close. So if you don't want to pay Mac Fix Plus prices, I know they sell these in the USA. And I'm sorry, I don't think Catrice is in the UK. So that's a bummer. That is a bummer. And I don't think you can order from the European side, which is also a bummer. But yeah, I really like this uh, spray. I can use it as priming spray to get my face to be a bit more sticky so it grabs on the foundation better. It's really nice for that. And the reason that I want to use a spray is because some foundations I need to powder. And then I use the spray to kind of help sink the powder into the foundation. I don't really use it to make my makeup last any longer. I, I don't. I just want it all to kind of melt together. And sometimes during the day when my face is dry, I grab this one or this one from Revolution, which is their Aqua Priming Base. Um, but I just freaking love the spray on this one. It has a nice wide spray and it is not like you feel you have three drops on your face and then you're like i thought i sprayed my face no you spray your face with this you know you sprayed your face with this so if you do not like that maybe this one is not for you i can demonstrate i have one here let's shake it up cover the microphone so uh, my microphone won't get wet so you need four sprays and your face as you can see it's wet-ish. And I like that. I like that. Then I feel like I have sprayed my face, if, if that makes any sense. So that was that one. Um, yeah, I was talking about this one from Revolution, the Pro Base. It's nice. The only finicky thing with this one is the spray. Sometimes I'm really... Some uh, bottles have a really nice spray. Other bottles, not so much. Oh, I can twist it open. Oh. Nice. I'm going to keep one of these to um, plop some toner in for here upstairs so yeah but yeah again um, I do like the one from Catrice a bit better but if you cannot get this I think this is a great alternative if you do not want to use a spray that contains denatured alcohol in it this one is really nice okay the only real fixing spray that I tried is also from Revolution it's their hyaluronic fix this does contain um, denatured alcohol and I, I still don't know if I like it or not to be honest because of the denatured alcohol and the fact that my skin is on the drier side I I don't know I think I prefer the Catrice one better sometimes it does help to spray this on top of foundation that has trouble setting so you get the extra alcohol to kind of will help set your makeup so i like it for that so i will probably repurchase just to have it on hand for when i have a foundation that doesn't really want to set even if i powdered it so yeah it's nice if you like setting sprays then give this a try it does smell a bit musty old ladyish but that's because it doesn't contain any added fragrance um, I have only four things left. It is the Conceal and Define Concealer from Revolution. This is the color C5. Uh, the only way I like this concealer is on top of my eyes. To, yeah, kind of, for kind of underneath my eye primer. Underneath my eyes, it dries out my under eyes like um, really badly. I do like the coverage it gives. I just don't like the formula. It's, it's way too drying for my eyes. I am, however, thinking about getting uh, the lightest shade that they have to use as uh, an eye base underneath my eye primers. 
because it, it's nice for that it's it's kind of self setting I don't need to powder it down so that is good and I don't want to powder my upper eyelids anyway but I do need something that sticks to my eyelids and then is good enough that it can take my eye primer if that makes any sense because sometimes uh, the concealer or foundation I put over my eyes tends to break up if I put eye primer on top of it and this one works really good for that I still want to try the P. Louise base though but we will see for now I have some stuff to test out so yeah but there I love it there I hate it so yeah okay um, I have here the Essence Instant Volume Boost Mascara, the purple one. This used to be my holy grail for, I think, four years or something like that. It has been replaced with the Lash Princess from Essence. And it says here, smudge proof. I don't agree. Uh, this uh, mascara is best after maybe one or two weeks when it has dried down a little bit the only trouble i had with this one is that it started to flake really quickly so yeah during the day i would just have flecks of mascara on my face and i didn't really like that so yeah but i again i currently have the lash princess maybe if they made this one in waterproof and this is the wand i like the wand but it is uh, I, I just need to stop using this because if I use this now it has dried out so much that it really clumps up and it looks gross so yeah that was on that one um, let's do this one for brows from Catrice this, uh, this is the brow pencil I use it's the Slimatic ultra precise brow pencil waterproof yeah I think it actually is yeah uh, the tip is 1.5 milliliters millimeters and it is I don't think you can see I don't think it will focus if I come any closer so uh, let me show you the tip on the one I'm currently using it is just you know like this it's a really really small tip and I know there are expensive brands out there that have this but Catrice has one as well I have mine in the color cool brown and I love this brow pencil as you can see my brows aren't that thick or bushy they are growing in a bit which is good because yeah over plucking in the 90s and uh, all that goodness but I really like this because it is so tiny I don't have to sharpen it I can just quickly do my brows and uh, oh yeah by the way there is a brow tutorial coming or maybe it is up already I don't know if it is up I will link it if it's not up uh, you'll have to wait for it just hang tight hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and all that goodness last thing that I have here is my duo glue and when I started using this for the first time uh, when I started my wearing falsies I used the glue that came with the falsies you know those little little things this one is from KISS um, and uh, the trouble with that glue is that it kind of eats up my lashes my own lashes it, it kind of does something weird where it gets all gummy at the end of the day and I really have trouble getting it out of my own lashes and it wrecks the falsies so yeah that's not good uh, then I heard people raving about the duo glue so I thought you know what let me get a tube at first I hated it I could not get it to work then I saw I think it was Carmi MUA who did that I will link his channel down below he um, said uh, put the glue on a surface spread it out a little bit let it get tacky that way and then he used the back of the the tube to put it onto the lash band I used to do that for a long time as well and it really do does work like that when I did my tutorial on how I do my falsies, I still used to use the back of the tube. And then one of my subscribers, Allison, said, uh, I use a brush, just a small brush. And I was like, that's brilliant. So what I have here, this is te technically an eyeliner brush, but I don't like it for that. It's just a cheap brush. I use this to get the glue all 
from the surface on my falsies. So I just get lashes, I put a little bit uh, of glue here and then I spread it across the band. And the nice thing is when the glue has dried, you can just pull it off this one as well. So I like that. The only downside is, is that you have to test for yourself when the glue is tacky enough because when this one changes color, so from white, milky white to, well, see-through, you're too late. It does not want to stick anymore because it has dried then. In case you are wondering, I like incense and my favorite incense is this one. It's the Darshan incense in the purple. That, that's my favorite. In case you were wondering. Well, that was it. <laughs> Those were my empties of between my last empties video and now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions on the products that I mentioned here today, please well, uh, ask away in the comment section. Let me know if you have anything that I mentioned today. And maybe you have some well, art alternatives for what I mentioned or something. Or maybe I gave you some alternatives. Let me know down in the comment section. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. That's what it's there for. For now, I'm signing off. I wish you all a great, great day. And I hope to see you on my next one. Bye, guys.